Hey guys, uh, so in the last class, we have seen the DHCP configurations, right? And uh, the DHCP configuration will look like this, IP DSA pool. And you can define the pool name as a CCNA in this network, we can assign the, the pool submit, right? You can also use this command, network 191.1.0 slash 24. Okay, it's totally up to you. This is for the LAN communications. If you're not assigned for the WAN communication, you need to define the default gateway. And you need to define the DNS server information as well. As. You can define the DNS server 6.6.6 .6 as well as you can define the secondary DNS server 8.8.8.8. The first one will become the primary and second will automatically go for the secondary. So if the primary will be not appear, the secondary will be ticked. Okay. Then after that, we have seen the packets. Uh, we have gone through the packets of the DHCP or DORA process, right? Discover packet. Then we have seen the offer packet. Then we have seen that request packet. And then we have seen that technology packet. And one is the release packet. This packet is a unicast. Okay. What is the port number used by the uh, client? And server? 67. Done. UDP protocol number 17. Okay. Anything else? No. Say it. Tell us about the packet structure. If the client will initiate, right? If the client will initiate the Discord packet, what will be the source MAC address? A, the client MAC address, distance MAC address, FFF, 0x080. Source IP, distance IP, protocol number, source port number, distance number, number discord packet. Then, what is the use of magic cookies? What is magic cookies? It contains extra information, right, about client. And server. Depend on the configuration, right? Depend on configuration, your cookies will be changed, right? Change. For example, तू जॉब कर रहा है ना तो सुबह जॉब नहीं जाता है वर्क फ्रॉम किताब कॉपी लैपटॉप कुछ नहीं किताब कॉपी लैपटॉप तो किताब कॉपी अच्छा मैं नहीं बढ़ रहा है कोई दिक्कत नहीं Guys, okay, have a look. I'm going to make this person is a router. Okay, so change con change symbol and uh, this is router, right? R1, R2. Now try to understand this. The very, very important. Okay, this thing you will never get in the books, right? So just pay attention. Over. R2, right? IP, DHCP, debug IP, DHCP, server. We have a class. We have events, and we have a linkage. That's it. Interface 0 slash 0 IP address will be, first of all, interface 0 slash 0 IP address will be 192.168.1.108 slash 24. No shutdown. IP DHCP pool and pool name will be ABC, right? 
नेटवर्क उली वन आई वर्सिटी वन नॉट जीरो स्लास ट्वेंटी फोर डन गो ऑन द क्लाइंट साइड आर वन ओके व्हाट आई विल डू आई सेट द इंटरफेस जीरो स्लास जीरो नो सेट डाउन आईपी एड्रेस डीएचसी हसमुख ला रही है हंसते हुए आते बाबा धाम का योग गाइस लुक ऑफर पैकेट राइट व्हेन वी हैव दिस ऑफर पैकेट एंड इन दिस केस व्हाट हैपन नाउ टेस्ट ओवर देयर For this offer packet, what configuration I did on the router? Two two history, right? This is the configuration for the server, right? And server is sending the. This is server configuration, and server is sending the offer packet to the client, right? To the router. What router is doing over there? Router will get the IP address on this particular interface. One nine one zero one dot one. Right, slash twenty four. What will be the routing table of a router? C one ninety one zero one zero slash twenty four associated with the zero slash zero interface. Try to understand. This information will be there, right? Of course, right. They will find the submit mask information because in the DHCP we are going to send the submit mask information as well as right. Done. Now let's do one thing. At the same time, what happened? Just go to R one. I see the shut down. Okay, if you see the do so IP root, I have this routing table, right? Right now, just go to R two router. And what I'm going to tell this guy, hey, default router will be one hundred. That's my IP address of this router, right? This guy, as a default router, hundred, right? Just go back to the R one. Say shut down. Let me refresh this one. Debug IP routing. Okay. Interface zero slash zero no shutdown. capture magic cookies same packet and have a look the difference you do one thing see the difference what i did over there same configuration is there right On R two, do so history. Only the thing is that I put the default order. Now what happened? This guy is still giving the IP addressing to this person. Server is still giving the IP addressing to the client. At the same time, what happened? Do we have any option field over the three? No. I don't have option field. By putting this command, what client will do? They can communicate in the LAN. Understand? No, they can communicate with the LAN. Or this is my what? This is my router, right? And behind the router, what happened? We have a host connected over there, right? The PCs are user are connected over there, right? Okay. now try to understand if i am going to put this configuration what is the reason to put the default order so that they can communicate with the wan so that they can communicate with the wan now 
what is the basic requirement that router needs to provide the wan communication ab router ka puch raha hu pc ka nahi puch raha hu gateway to ho gaya aur kya milega routing right routing the required when the if the client will send the packet to the 8.8.8.8.8.7.7.7.6.6.6.5.5.5.1.1.1 how does this client will send this packet to this isp right for that one what router is going to do either it needs to maintain the complete routing information or either you can put the default route right what dhcp is going to do in this case try to understand what dhcp is going to do in this case when you if, if you configure this command right default route uh, 1.100 it means that dhcp service is assuming he the client is requesting for the default order immediately what happened they will give the ip addressing at the same time what happened they will give the one default route as well they will get the one default route as well as so i told you that depend on your configuration right your magic cookies or option field will be changed do we have any option field three over there I just put the default router. What happened? Option three will be added. Behind, before this one, there is no option three is there. Now this person is giving the default route. So maybe you have a question here, law. Already, whenever you are going to connect with the ISP, right? Already they have one default route zero 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 that has a ID number one, right? That has a ID number one. But, but when the DHCP server is giving the default route to the router. what they will put this guy is going to put the ad value okay 254 and what is the use of ad value ad value is just going to make a trust worthiness of the route right lower ad always prefer ad is a 8 bit number lower ad is always prefer 8 bit number you can define from 0 to 255 you cannot assign 0 to any person because 0 is reserved for the connected route one reserved for the static route and 255 is reserved for the unknown route right what happened he is sending a default route as well as why they are sending the default route somehow if the network admin has forget to configure default route towards the isp in that case in that case they will use this default route right to forward the traffic to the isp somehow if the network engineer forget to configure this default route manually what dhcp service going to do they will give the one default route to the client so that they can use this default route to send the traffic for this particular network that's why they made this ad value 254 if you already have a network admin default route that has the ad number 1 i will always use this guy right but if somehow this guy is not available i will behave like a secondary if the primary is available i will always forward the packet through the primary if the primary is not available i will always go through the secondary like a floating static node so if you see after putting the default or what happened r1 is adding a the next stop is pointing to what default gateway what are the ad is happening So if you see, do show IP route now. I have a default route. At the same time, what happened? I have IP addressing. Do show IP route. Any questions? this is done by the this option field option number 3 i am going to use this default route to forward the packet to the internet because it's not isp whenever you are taking a public ip address from the isp what isp is doing they are giving through the dhcp as well as right So in that case, you can. They are using this uh, this default route. I'll tell you one thing as well as. Oh, is it? Pada? 
Have you read the OSP? In OSP, so external. Yeah, one, 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 one minute. Let me complete this one, and then you can ask me question. In OSP as well as. Try to understand this part. In OSP as well as, if you do external LSA, right? Or we can say LSA five summarization, right? On the ASBR router, you will also get the same ED value. So for the summary address for the which guy LSA five, you will get the same ID value at the same time DSCP default route. You will get the same ID value. So can we say like this? The ID value one is reserved for the static route, zero is for connected, right? And two fifty five is reserved for the unknown route, right? And two fifty four is reserved for the DSCP route at the same time. ASBR summary LSA five route. If you do the summation on the ASBR route, it only happens, right? This default or only the router will get if you enable the. Otherwise, what happened previously? If you see, I was not getting the route. I only had connected route. That's I was getting from the IP address and some mask information. But after adding the default or oh, after adding the default gateway, I will have a default route as well. This point is clear. Yeah, questions. You know the metric. Uh, you know this thing. Okay, then you route the gateway. I hope you have learned in the CCM. CCM ni padhai kya isam? Then you have to wait for the routing. Otherwise, uh, it will take a two hours of the class, right? Yep. Who has asked the question, right? Any questions? Any no? Okay, chal. Now, try to understand one thing. I'm not done with the timer right now. We have to discuss the timer as well as. Okay, I'll show you the this command as well as how we can assign the DNS service mode. So eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. The same time I can put the second DNS as well as. We'll take the second DNS as well as. Okay. Now. Try to understand. <clears throat> this is my DSP server, right? This is my DHCP server. On this DHCP server, what happened? We have this configuration. On this DHCP server, we have uh, this DHCP configuration, right? Now, we have some client, right? We have some client. At the same time, we have some server. We have some client and we have some server, and these all are the present in the data center network. Right? All these guys present in the data center. Network. So what happened through the switch? Right? I provide the connectivity. So this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, right? So try to understand whatever the outside user are they right, or we can say that whatever the branch user right. We have a multiple branch. We have a branch location in the Delhi, Bangalore, Pune, Calcutta, Patna, Jaipur, right. So whatever the peoples are present in the outside right network right, they are trying to access this server. So if this user wants to trying to access this server, what is the basic need they have? Routing. And IP addressing, right? The routing and IP addressing. Tell me one thing. If this guy, if this guy will get the IP address, 
through the DHCP, what happened? This IP will be keep changing, right? The IP address will be keep changing because it's a dynamic allocation. In a dynamic allocation, what happened? The IP will be change, right? In that case, what I want, whenever this MAC address, right? The MAC address, for example, x dot x dot x y y y y and z z z. This is the MAC address that belong to the server. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make this configuration on the server side. Okay. When this person, when this person is going to make a request to, because in the offer a Discord packet, what happened? I'm sending the MAC address as well as right. In Discord packet, I'm sending the MAC address as well as. What I'm telling that whenever this person is going to make a request to me, hey, I need a IP address. Whenever, doesn't matter. Whenever this server is making a request, hey, I need a IP address. In that case, what happened? I always need to allocate this IP to this guy. Always, doesn't matter. Thousand Sam, I need to allocate the same IP address because I'm going to put the binding over there. I'm going to put the binding in, in that case, what happened? So whatever the outside user will there, so they always, they can always access the, the server. There's no issue will happen because the IP will be now constant. This IP will be now constant. This mechanism, right? This mechanism, you can say that I'm seeing this thing as a private According to the terminology, right? You can say this guy. The Discord packet. I'm seeing this mechanism as a option number 61 known as a client identifier. Can you see yesterday I told you why they are putting the this interface number? There's reasons some behind it. I'm putting the interface number at the same time what I'm putting. Mac address as well as. And this option number 61 is going to make this guy as a Perfect. Whenever this guy is going to request the packet based on the, this field, right? Based on the option number 61, I need to allocate the IP to this guy. Every option has a different, different meaning, guys. So what I'm going to do over there, take example. I say that this is the, take it, this is server, right? This is the server. And what I'm going to do on the server side. I'm going to get the one different pool. IP DHCP pool, like a private pool, right? Pool will be server. It's just a name, right? You can put the any name. And after that, I'm going to define the default daughter. 100, right? As so the client identifier. In the client identifier, I'm going to tell this person, hey, client identifier means so what is the meaning of 61? If you see the uh, this flag, where's that one? Not this one. What information I need to put? The MAC address, right? But before putting the MAC address, before putting the MAC address, I need to tell this person, hey, you are going to use the Ethernet technology. That's a zero one. Remember you study, right? Zero 
zero one. I need to tell this person, hey, the Mac, the IP that I'm going to assign to the, this guy, this guy is going to use the Ethernet technology, right? Zero one. I'll let you know what happened if you're not going to put this zero one. Don't worry about that. Right now, I'm giving the proper configuration, zero one. And after that, what happened? I need to use the MAC address of this person. Show IP interface zero slash zero. Include BIA. What are the MAC address of this person? C203, right? C203, 2088, then 0000. Gona to C2 dot zero three two zero dot eight eight zero zero dot zero. Done. What network I'm going to use? Okay. Sorry, I need to use the host origin. Post. I will define the one or ten IP address. Do so run section DHCP. This guy post the IP that I'm going to assign one or ten to which person? To this MAC address, right? What is the gateway for this person? I just need to go on the router number three now. That's our server we have. Right, interface zero slash zero, no shutdown, and I said the IP address DHCP. What I want to tell this person, client identifier, which interface? Because in the option number sixty one, what I'm sending. Done. Which IP I'm getting over there? One or ten. The same IP I have allocated this guy, right? So from the child pool, what I'm taking. What is the parent pool we have? That's an ABC configure, right? The child pool that happened with the server one. And I'm going to use the IP from this parent pool, right? This submit, this IP. Now I got the IP address 110. Even if you put the shutdown command over there, let's refresh it. And say this guy, no shutdown. Again, what happened? I will get the same IP, 110. Put a shutdown. Refresh anytime, whatever the time you want to refresh, refresh it. Doesn't matter. Always this person will get the IP address 1.10. No shutdown. Exactly right, Javed. Done. Now, I'll tell you one thing. In your CCI lab exam, if you're operating for the CCI lab, it doesn't matter if you go for the CCI security or CCI enterprise or CCI data center, right? Whatever the possible reason, that server will never get the proper IP address. Because you know what happened, the client side, right? The client always try to ping one or ten, right? Client always try to ping one or ten. Let's see what happened. Whatever the reasons that the PC will not get the server will not get the one or ten IP address. What I'm going to do first thing: go on the uh, server right, client side, shut down this interface, go on the router, 
and what i'm going to do do so run section dhcp this guy and what i'm going to do as the client identifier remove this guy as the client identifier will be what just copy the mac address without putting the ethernet do so interface 0 slash 0 include via copy the mac address and paste it over there that's it command is accepted go back to the this guy put the no set down it has to be received though it has to be get the one or ten ip address right what ip i'm getting configuration correct right i have a child pool i have a child pool right if you see on r2 everything is perfect right What missing point is there? Ethernet. Type. Ethernet type is missing, right? Just because of a simple mistake, I'm telling you, you don't have a much time in your examinations, right? You just have a like you know, the one minute to and two minutes max to max to configure and troubleshoot this thing. Max to max, you will get the max to max, you will get the two six three minutes to resolve this part. And just making a simple mistake, and you see that we don't have a zero one. What every person is doing in examination, right? They are looking the okay. We have a pool. We have a one of ten. Everything is correct, right? And now the PC is not getting the IP address. Now the PC is right now getting what IP address? One of three. Can this user ping the one of ten? Of course not. One of ten is not available, right? You will fail in the lab exam. So we will we know like uh, this DHCP server will get IP address from the uh, yeah server. you 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 will get the access you will get the complete access. You know my question is uh, see we understood like there is a you know a misconfiguration uh, which we have to find yeah but uh, will we have an idea like uh, this server will get a DHCP IP from the DHCP server. Because no, no, this is the only DSCP. This DSCP server does not have any parent pool. This is the only one DSCP server over there. Yes. In examinations, you will have a multiple DSCP server, but for each domain, for, because in examination, what happened, you will have a co multiple companies are there, right? The lab will be there. They have a multiple companies are there, right? So in that oh, one minute, let me show you this thing. Take note. So if you just like, you know, I what I did, I'll tell you because the recording was paused. So I just changed the IP. I put the client identifier 01 Ethernet type with the proper MAC address, right? I just changed the identifier, host identifier. What happened? You are not getting the proper IP address. It has to be get the one of 10, right? So if you have this mistake, still you will not get the proper IP. Third mistake. Shut down. Go the server side, connect this IP. Post will be what I want to do 1.10 slash 24. Done. And what I'm going to do, I said that no client identifier. Done. I see that client identifier just in the one bit. Done. Then do show on section DSCP. The MAC address is changed, right? I just put the one over there instead of zero, right? Now go to R13. No so down. So if the MAC is wrong configure, right? Done. 
मुश्किल है बड़ा लाभ बड़ा कर ये भाई साहब पता ही नहीं तू क्यों रहा है तो मैं तो ऐसे हंस ऐसा क्या चलो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नाउ लेट्स डू वन थिंग लेट्स गो ना क्लाइंट साइड सर्वर साइड एंड व्हाट आई एम डू आई जस्ट रिमूव द रॉन्ग आईपी सॉरी रॉन्ग मैक एड्रेस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड द प्रॉपर आई मैक एड्रेस राइट डन गो ना आर थ्री Shut down. Okay. And what I'm going to do now? Do so run. If you see mistake, then IP address, IP address DHCP. What are we meeting over here? One of five. If you just have a look on the server side, the server side we have a accurate configuration, right? IP is correct. Ethernet IP is also there, and MAC is also there. Every single thing is correct. Only the thing has changed on a client side. They forget to configure the client identifier, and that is going to represent that the option number sixty-one. That is going to represent the option number sixty-one. And if you forget this guy right, you will never get the proper IP address. So, the fourth number is what? If you forget to configure client identifier on client side, you will never get proper IP. Now let's do one thing. Go on a client side and set up shut down. Okay. Now the client said, "What happened?" I'm just going to interface. Do show in interface zero slash zero include BIA, right? Then. MAC address then no sort one minute sort thank you ip address dhcp client identifier zero slash zero right do so ip interface brief interface is shut down right let's make it shut down reason the person has manually changed the mac address so what happened Is this ma is this matching with the banding database? See, do show on section D S P. Is it matching with the banding database? C two zero three two zero right eight eight zero zero. It has a eight eight zero two. It's not matching, right? I will not give the proper IP addressing. So the fifth number is what? 
if MAC address is wrong configured on client side. You will not get proper IP address. All these are the types of things. Except this one, nothing is there. Except this one, nothing is there. I'm why I'm telling you this thing, guys, because do you know one thing? Last time, right? Three person has failed in the CSA exam just because of the this part. They did all the configurations, right? MPLS, IPsec, VPN, VGP, OSPF, redistribution, SNMP, spanning tree protocol, all this thing they did. Even that they did the DSP, right? Even they are able to ping the wrong IP addressing, but the person was not getting the proper IP addressing. If anything is missing over there, if anything is wrong configured, you will never get the proper IP address. And what Cisco is doing? Cisco made the wrong configuration on the plan. You're not supposed to be configured each and everything, right? They made something wrong and you have to correct this thing. All clear? Perfect. Can you explain the ether type missing? Ether type missing in the sense Java with what? If you are not going to configure the 0, 01 value, right? This value, 0, 01, right? You will never get the proper IP addressing, right? Because the client, the server will get confused which in uh, to which I'm going to allocate the IP addressing, right? To which client? If the client is belong to the Ethernet type or the serial link or they need the SDLC cables. So they are not going to allocate it. So they will allocate from the primary pool, not from the uh, uh, child pool. That is the hex format of 01. You are not going to do this. No, as a need to message man person, just like that. You can also ban. Ha, zero one ligo, up here mac address ligo, like this one. For example, you are not going to type like maybe this will be support, but in examination this will work. Client identifier, and you can put like a zero one, right? And dot you can put and put the complete mac address. This will work. It will also work, right? Trip. Now. Quick troubleshoot all of you guys. I'm just going to stop the uh, screening and you need to solve this one. Chalaki, Mesa. Which card of the card on Akustar gave it to solve the matter of suit. Now, have a look. Interesting to also. See, uh, this is the router and the client we have, right? All the server is configured. And all the server has a proper IP testing configured, right? DCP server is configured. The client is not getting the, if you go to shut down, No shutdown. I'm not getting the IP. Tell me what will be the reason. I have, I'll tell you the config. I can't show you the configuration right now. I'll tell you the configuration and you tell me what was the reason. IP DSC pool is configured. Pool name is ABC. And in this network, I'm going to assign the 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Default is also configured 1.100. The PC is not getting the IP address. What will be the reason? According to you, what will be the reason? Okay. 
Server is up right now. I can ping it. Ankoch. No Ethernet type is missing. Uh, normal DSP is there. No, no Ethernet type. Normal DSP is there. So everything is same VLAN right now. All the person the same VLAN. DSP server is there. Everything is configured. I put the no shutdown down command on this guy, right? And on this interface, if you see, I can show you the client configuration, right? IP address DSP is there. Sir, command fire fire command. IP address DSP. Fire the wall here. Please do not have pool does not have a enough IP. That is one of the reason, right? That one of the reason. But I have allocated the slash twenty four over there. But I have just a single user right now setting. Client identifier. Client ID normal DSP is there. No need to client identifier. But Discord packet the page, right? Try to understand the trouble. So client is sending a Discord packet. He is sending the Discord packet. Just I'm hinting over there. He's sending the Discord packet. Yeah, server. Wireshark. Router one follow. Yeah. Router one is sending the Discord packet to the server. Server is not responding. Who are you? I say, guess it will happen, boy. Router one is sending the Discord packet, but server is not responding. लगाओ दिमाग इतना लगा सकते हैं। ACL नहीं कॉन्फ़िगर है। ACL इज़ नॉट कॉन्फ़िगर। I am not denying any UDP packets। And this thing yesterday we have seen। हाँ। मैंने बताया था। मैं हमेशा बेसिक पढ़ाता हूँ। बेसिक में हमेशा पढ़ाता हूँ। Different same broadcast domain is there। Same broadcast domain, same IP, same VLAN, nothing is configured. All IPs, DSCP is configured, everything is configured. Router one side, client is configured, DSCP is configured, no shutdown is configured. I'm not getting the IP. And he's sending the Discord packet. He's keep sending the Discord packet. Le. De de bhai IP. Server ka dhanna. Main nahi dunga IP. Kya release? Main release kaise karo dunga? AT value kaise kaise? Thing on the least timer. Least timer. Please, I haven't configured the list. See the configuration IP. There's a pool ABC network and this one default auto. Kuch bhi pool dhang se nahi bana hai. Abey gado. So control plane. Post open ports. Yeah, sixty seven in your land. I'm talking about. 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 I have disabled the port. Basic command that you missed in the examinations. Pool was configured, right? Just he was sending the discover packet, right? With the port number, what? Destination is 67, source is what? 68, but he's not responding. It means that what? Port number is not available on the server side. हम्म कुछ भी मतलब इतना सोच ही नहीं पाया ना इतनी छोटी चीज सो गाइस राइट ऑन दिस कमांड इस कमांड इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन योर बुक मॉर्निंग वाले में डीएसपी नहीं पाऊंगा 
uh, this is a hidden command service dscb command is hidden so troubleshoot karne ke liye always use this part so control plane post open ports always use this part now tell me one thing if i'm going to disable the interface 0/0 shut down i'm going to shut down this interface okay and i'm going to disable the no service dscp on the client side will this pc will get ip address scenario based question for the interview lord the service dscp is enable service dscp is disable others client will this client will get the ip address from server pakka ave gadra कैसे चलेगा तुम लोग काम मिल गया आईपी रीजन बता दो क्यों मिल गया ये भी नहीं बता सकता हूं आई टेल यू द रीजन व्हाट दिस कमांड इज डूइंग सर्विस डीएचसीपी दिस गाय इज गोइंग टू ओपन द पोर्ट नंबर व्हिच पोर्ट नंबर दिस गाय इज एबल टू सेंड द डिस्कवर पैकेट 67 इज ओपन राइट 67 is closed over there so when this guy is giving the offer packet in the offer packet what is the source and port number 67 is a port number and 68 is a destination so isko matter nahi karta na 67 is open or not because what destination port number is there so it doesn't matter 67 port number is open or not i will accept the ip address khatam kaani has gone ऐसे कैसे हो जाएगा 67 ही बंद हो रहा है नाउ क्लियर गाइस एनीवन वन हैज क्वेश्चन नो सो गैस डन फॉर द टुडे विल सी टूमोरो आज आ रहे मुझे आज घर